Hi guys, it's Fez UFO. Um, just managed to put up a new Yagi today. I uh, got from Moonraker. And uh, seems to be picking up quite well, although I had some problems. Uh, I had some Yeah, these guys are testing a repeater, uh, 8 miles. For me, Echo, uh, not Echo Link, a um, All Star repeater, which I know sometimes go on. Right, I'll uh, we'll have a look round my scruffy garden. Wreck, everything's falling all over the place. Got leads all over. Right, ignore the mess. <laughs> oh, the cat on the cat on the greenhouse here. <laughs> it's quite comfortable. As you can see, it's a very windy day. Uh, trees have been rattling about. My silver rod has been dancing about like you wouldn't believe in the wind. But uh, it's uh, a little bit calmer than it was. Anyway, I'll show you my Yagi. There we go in all its glory. Um, I don't know if you can see. Obviously, you can. Where the uh, quacks comes out of there, uh, I had a nightmare with it blown about the place. And uh, if you move it, the SWR goes up and down like you wouldn't believe. So I've actually uh, managed to uh, tie it off and uh, connect it to a nine, uh, nine foot pole that I've uh, had for a while. And a little six foot pole at the bottom, there's a clamp in the middle just holding everything into place. And that pole just stands up. A couple of cable ties or bits of wrap. Yeah, behind the step ladders there, the pole actually goes down to the ground on the fence post. So, having a look at it, it's, uh, it's not that bad really. Although, I've got it vert vertically polarised. Um, So you can see where the end of uh, that's the clamp. That's the start of the antenna on the uh, CB 27 megs, 28 megs, <laughs> 27, 26. Uh, yeah, that's the start of it. So if I zoom, kind of keep that in frame, move back for you. You see, it's uh, it's not actually that far off really. Uh, anyway, it seems to be picking up quite well. Um, I'll have to see tonight because there's a guy that does CW uh, down in Sheffield and I can normally just about see pick him up um, with a handheld aerial and I've got to wave it about a bit. So we'll see how this one uh, operates. As you can see it's not it's not moving so much in the wind but uh, nice little four element Yagi. Vertically uh, polarised like I said. And it's heading down towards uh, south south westerly, something like that. So, there's my two antennas together. Hopefully, uh, <laughs> I can get a long wire up and a nice HF kit and uh, we can uh, get going with serious stuff. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you like this antenna uh, video. And uh, as always, please remember to subscribe. And uh, look forward to seeing some of your stuff. Okay, cheese and bees for me. Take care, 73.